Mother was a prostitute. Father was a pimp. I bet I got your attention now. All right, check this out. Beautiful topic. Have to give it give it right now while it's nice and fresh, right? All right, check it. I'm going to explain this very simple, right? It's like a building that has 100 floors, right? A building that has 100 floors, and the name of the game is to get to the roof, right? There's 100 floors. So you got to race somebody. You got to race against somebody else, right? So, But he gets to start on the 50th floor. Right? You get to start on the basement, right? When it's all said and done, you guys go, boom. You go up 50 flights, he goes up 50 flights. When he goes up to 50 flights, he's on the top. He made it to the roof. When you go up 50 flights, starting from the basement, you only at where he just began at, right? And then he tries to take credit, like, yeah, I got here before you. I got here before you. But, but, and then they try to shame you. Like you didn't just do the same thing. Don't try to don't try to shame me. Like I ain't go up fifty flights. I went up fifty flights just like you went up fifty flights. We just started at different places. You understand what I'm saying? And so people try to take the credit for where they started from, especially Americans, right? Especially Americans. God showed me this one time when I was sitting. My wife is Haitian, and we was at a funeral. We went out to Miami, Florida, and I'm sitting in a room full of all these Haitians who are dressed in nice clothes, right? And God put in my spirit. He said, "You in a room full of millionaires." And there probably wasn't one millionaire in that room. But what God has shown me, learning the story of my wife and her family and how her father, her father and her mother took her. She was the baby out of like five, six children, took the baby and came to America. And then the goal from there was grind, grind, grind and get each child one at a time over here. Protect them from America's stupidity and philosophies as you got a child and you bring them into America and they want to experiment with drugs or go party or do this and that. But take your child and bring them over here and give them a better life and put them through school and get them a career. And their grind, their grind, their grind was there. Their grind was there. So now I'm in a room full of all these Haitian people dressed up in beautiful suits and we're all eating and we're all fellowshipping. And I realized I'm in a room full of millionaires. Cause, Cause when you're born in America, you take America for granted. You understand? But these people didn't take America for granted. They had to work to get here. So at the end of the day, people don't know where you came from. And they don't know where you so and then they'll try to turn around and act like the reason why you're not where they are is because you didn't work as hard as them. But that ain't the truth. They started on the 50th floor. That's where they started. On the 50th floor. They didn't start in the basement. You understand? Don't let nobody take that from you. Work. 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 And even if you have to start on the basement, you keep going. You keep going. You keep going. Don't let nobody judge you because of your past. And you yourself don't let your past limit you. And maybe it may take you longer. And it may be a harder fight to fight. But don't let nobody stop that. And don't let nobody take that from you. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Keep grinding.